I'm not gonna lie, I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to think of something for this cold open and nothing's come to me. So just roll it, I guess. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Ariano the Third. Y'all guys, third family. If you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of this little family we got by clicking subscribe, bottom right hand corner. Now we got like a two for one today because we're knocking out a 21 Pilots video and we're also knocking out another Patreon video. Cause like I said on the last video, I'm mad behind on Patreon requests. So again, this video comes to you from Kelly, 30 Seconds to Mars. So thank you Kelly once again for your Patreon requests. Thank you for your Patreon donations. Cause as you know, I really don't make money off of this channel other than the Patreon. So y'all guys are helping me support the bills, helping support the channel that keeps the channel going. Everybody else who's a Patreon, I really appreciate y'all support as well. Even if you're not at the tier that gets a request cause everybody's dollar counts you know so as you can see by the title we got heavy dirty soul off of the blurry face album from 21 pilots and i will be straight up and straightforward and tell you that i really don't know anything about the whole world of blurry face about dima about any of that stuff i know blurry face is like the alter ego of tyler i know it's like the fear the anxiety the depression it's everything that's wrong with his personality or everything that he thinks is wrong with his personality personified so that we can kind of get like a character to focus our attention on having said that i do know that this song fits into like a story of like three or four music videos so if anybody in the comments wants to save me some time and y'all want to give y'all's interpretation of the storyline of dima of the storyline of blurry face of the storyline of the red hat the head the symbolic red beanie y'all go ahead and let me know in the comments because i'll definitely be reading so that way i can catch up before we do those music videos but other than that not really too much left to say just got to put on these headphones check out this music video see what we got like i always say follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest no spaces just like the channel links are actually down in the description below so you don't really have to do anything you just go and click on it click follow click subscribe click whatever whatever it's called but let's go All over the road. This in infestation in my mind's imagination. I hope they talk and talk as I'm smoking them at the basement. This is not right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Bless you. Let's try that again. This in infestation in my mind's imagination. I hope they talk and talk as I'm smoking them at the basement. This is not right. This is not hip hop. Just another attempt to make the voices stop. Robert, if I'm just writing to say something, cause I wasn't the only one who wasn't rushing to say nothing. This doesn't mean I lost my dream. It's just right now I got a really crazy mind. Hold up, hold up. You know, did you hear the vocals right there real quick? I, I, I'm gonna pause, I can't like keep going without saying anything, but the way like he came in with the fast spit, I don't know why I wasn't ready for that, but he said, I got an infestation in my mind and we about to smoke him out the basement. Fire. Since I do know that blurry face is like, he's just personified all the negative personality traits that he has. Obviously he's talking about blurry face. He says blurry face has infested his mind and we're about to smoke him out with these raps and with this writing and with this music and this creativity. Like it's his only escape from blurry face because I know that blurry face, like I said, is a personified version of everything wrong with him. And he says, this isn't rap, it's not hip hop. It's just another attempt to make these voices stop. Like I'm just attempting to write down my thoughts. I'm attempting to write all of my problems, all of my issues on paper, just to see if it helps in any way. Which is like a common thing that a lot of psychiatrists and a lot of therapists will tell you to do is to like write out your anger, write out your frustrations, write out the emotions you're feeling so that way you have some type of cathartic release. And in this case, it just happens to be music. And in this case, just like Nate, just like NF, we all just happen to love it because we all feel the same thing. And then the wordplay between something and nothing and how he says it all so fast to the point where like, you really don't understand what he's saying on the first listen. You have to like go back and rewind to make sure you're catching it right. Because in music, especially obviously his disdain that he has for radio type music, a lot of people think that these artists are saying something, but really deep down, if you read and you listen and you pay attention to the lyrics, they're saying nothing. So that's those type of things get confused very often. That's dope. The wordplay that he uses right there and the, and the speed that he spits with. So you get confused with what he's saying until you listen again and you're like, oh, he's actually saying something about the people who are saying nothing. 
and how he's not using these raps to say nothing. He wants to be using these raps to say something. Dope. And I don't know why we're in the back of this car yet. I don't know why Josh is on the drum set, like in the middle of the street. I don't know anything yet. This doesn't mean I lost my dream. It's just right now I got a really crazy money clean. Gangsters don't cry. Therefore, therefore, I'm high. Missed, I missed the eye. Therefore, I'm high. Can you say? I forgot. I got to rewind again. But the gangsters don't cry. Therefore, I'm Mr. Misty Eyed. And gangsters don't cry is a very, it's a very common saying. Like, men don't cry, gangsters don't cry. We're supposed to be battle-hardened. We're supposed to be tested and proven. But I'm not gangster. In the end, I'm just a human. I didn't mean to rhyme human and proven, but I did, so I got bars. Nah, but really, he is saying, like, I'm just human, so I'm Mr. Misty-eyed. Even though I've been through these problems and I don't show y'all most of the time, that doesn't mean I don't cry. And the breakdown is fire of the music, the drum, how it just stops and it just is one snare hit. Cry. Yo, his voice is like, it's just too good. Those high notes and the purity that his vocals are coming out with, no vibrato, no nothing, just like, just straight high note. And it sounds so pure and so crisp and so clean. Amazing. His voice is like dope. And then can you save my heavy, dirty soul from me? Cause I'm the one that's gonna, I'm gonna cause myself to meet my own demise. Can you, Jesus, cause I do know that he's, you know, he talks about his Christianity roots. Or can you, can you the notebook, he could be talking to the pen, like, can you save me from me? Or you, like the fans, can y'all keep me on this course to save me from me? All dope, any way you interpret it is fire. The fact that like he feels, yo, I just got it. Maybe he's in the back seat because he's not the one in control of the car and the car is symbolic of his life and the car is symbolic of his mental state and it's all just falling apart on us. And he can't do anything. That's why he like goes like this, like he wishes he could steer the steering wheel, but he can't. Can you save me from myself? And the car misses Josh because he doesn't put these problems on him maybe? I don't know, but the first part of the interpretation I feel like was spot on. Can you save A little slow motion with the snare hit, that was fire. Yo, he said, my little zombies walking around talking about you like you only live once. Obviously talking about, again, his disdain for the music industry and just music in general and like how everything is very watered down. Everything's watered down to sell records, not necessarily express emotion. How many times have you heard it from rappers saying that you only live once? It's literally a song that was like a banger off of Drake's Take Care album. YOLO, that's the motto. And then he said, if I didn't know better, I would guess that most of y'all are already dead because you are also consuming this nonsense. So we're just a bunch of mindless zombies walking around. All I see is zombies walking all around me. Childish Gambino zombies. If you never heard it, hop on that track because it's fire. Everything that he says about the music industry and about music in general and just radio hits and radio friendly music, it's also true. It's also why I don't personally like a lot of radio music because it's just very pandering. Not necessarily like the writer being vulnerable and being expressive and being creative because creative music doesn't really sell. Look at Clipping, the experimental hip hop group Clipping with David David, David Diggs, David Diggs, David Diggs, that's it, who was Lafayette in Hamilton. It's like an experimental hip hop group and he's got bars, he's got like mad writing skill, but he's just doing it as a creative outlet. It's never gonna be on the radio. But David has more talent in his pen than most of the writers that are on the radio. That's just how it goes, you know?
Who's this in the front seat? I don't know who this dude is. Is he wearing a mask? Is he blinded? Is he even driving? shit he no longer there the driver i got distracted because i was gonna say i love josh's style of drumming it's not just the same rhythm and the same patterns that you would normally expect from pop music he's an actual like true drummer it's rare when you hear a drummer and you know that it's that drummer you just know when you hear their solos and when you hear them going off that it's them that's really the only way i can explain it let's keep going because it looked like it was about to get good cars falling apart life's falling apart it's all making sense maybe at the end of the video i'll be way off but for now. That's a clean ass line. Death inspires me like a dog inspires a rabbit. Cause a dog inspires a rabbit to run for its life. A dog inspires fear. It inspires a sense of like being on your toes, being ready for anything. So death has that same effect on Tyler. And the thing is that like most of us are gonna fear death. Like most of us don't wanna just die right now. Most of us are not at peace with death. But some people it just like sticks in their mind and that's all they have to think about. That's a dope line. Death inspires me like a dog inspires a rabbit. That drum come in right there, I don't know what it's called when they come in from like being at rest, but that was fire. We gotta listen to it again because... You know? Can you save? Can you save my? Can you save my every dirty soul? For me. For me. Okay. Can you save my every dirty soul? For me. For me. Can you save my every dirty soul? That whole last part of like the song was fire. This is my car right now if I go bump this song right now in my car. Cause it's just so fire. The breakdown, the beat change, the tempo change, or it's not a tempo change cause it stayed the same tempo I think. But just the beat breakdown, how we went to like, mm, so clean. Can you say Okay, okay, okay. I got like one interpretation or maybe two interpretations at the end of the music video. He hopped out the whip and that could be symbolic of being saved because he's no longer in the car. He's no longer in that vehicle. He didn't burn with that vehicle. So he was still saved 
and we went from day to night and then we were back to day at the end. So I don't know if that's like a screenshot or a clip from the beginning and they just put it at the end. Knowing 21 Pilots and knowing them and their music videos that they're much more intentional than that. So I feel like that's more so saying like, we go through these burdens every single day and every single day is a victory that we're still here, you know? Cause we started at the beginning of the video just like that in the morning and then we drove all day and then the, everything was breaking down and then he jumps out at night and then we go to sleep and then we repeat the whole process all over again. Cause these demons, they don't just go away. I hope that that's the interpretation because that's what I got out of it. And really it doesn't matter if that's the interpretation because that's one of the good things about video and one of the good things about music and lyricism, you interpret it however you want to. It's not wrong, you know? But yeah, thank you everybody for being here and watching this video. I hope y'all appreciated the breakdown. I hope y'all guys got some insight into what I think whenever I see this video, whenever I hear these lyrics. The lyrics are a little more straightforward than the video is and with 21 Pilots, their lyrics are cryptic, but sometimes their videos could be even more cryptic. So I hope the way I interpreted it is the way that y'all guys interpreted it, at least some of y'all. And if not, and if you like my interpretation better, Cool. If not, let me know what you thought. Also, like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know about the Dima world and the universe and blurry face and all those things that I really don't know about because I haven't done the research. But that's it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, everybody, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest. No spaces, just like the channel. Links in the description below, or just go to Instagram and Twitter and search it up. Also follow the Discord. Discord's on and popping at all times because I'm in the Discord heavy. Again, thank you to my Patreon subscribers who helped this channel go and who helped me provide revenue that I'm able to pay for all this gear and shit that you don't see because it's behind the camera. I appreciate that heavily. And if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate everybody's time. I do know, like I say, that you can go out there in the YouTube universe and watch reactions anywhere with anyone, but y'all guys choose to spend a decent amount of time with me and that shit means the world to me. I'm not wasting my time, I'm not wasting your time. But that's it for today, guys. Like I always say at the very end, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody in the next video. Peace.